Hello, I'm John Jack Rogers. Uh, this is Patrick Davis, an alum actor from Stella Adler Academy of Acting and Theater here in Los Angeles, California on Hollywood Boulevard. And we are sitting in what we call the Irene Gilbert Theater. Today, we are usually in another one of our theater spaces, but today we're in this one. Um, talking to Patrick here. We were just talking about a story from Dusk Till, till Dawn, right? Right. Which yeah. is something uh, we're really proud of this kid. He's been working really hard. He's a really good actor. Uh, tell us about what, what, what all have you been doing lately? Uh, so I just got back from Texas shooting from Dusk Till Dawn. That's a series created by Robert Rodriguez uh, about his movie. So I'm a part of that cast. Uh, I have a recurring role in there. And then I've been doing, I got a movie coming out in October with Julia Roberts, which is The Secret in Their Eyes, which is, I have a small role in that, but I'm excited about it because it's a really good film. Awesome. It's about um, the Argentinian film that won an Oscar in 2009, uh, El Secreto de Sus Ojos, which is, so they adapted it, they Hollywood adapted it. Oh, wow. And, uh, so it's a translation of that, it's, it's uh, not the making of that movie. Right, no, it's like, it's that movie in English. Wow. And tweaked her. That's around. cool. That's cool. So that, among other things, and um, yeah, I'm really excited. Patrick, you've been working a lot. And you also did, what was the motorcycle? Uh, remember a few years ago? Oh, Victor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's still dealing with distribution. Cool. So it's uh, I play a heroin addict in 1959 in Brooklyn, New York. Oh, yeah. And it's a true story. And um, it's a, I'm really excited about that film. I can't wait for that. Um, so we'll see what happens, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You were a student here, uh, Patrick. You drove out. You drove out from Ohio, right? Yeah. In your car and started uh, school. It was great. Well, this is how it happened, actually. I, I I was living in Ohio and I moved to Mexico City to study acting. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I decided that I wanted to do that over and then there. We all went together to Mexico City. Yeah, that that was that, 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 that was that was fun. That was, was a lot fun. of fun. Lots of fun. Um, but I, I you know I went through the internet and I see. You know, I didn't even know who Marlon Brando was. I was it was it was insane. But I saw Salma Hayek um, went to the school. Yeah. So I was like, must be interesting, you know. And the thought of going to LA never crossed my mind. It was just like, it wasn't even a thought. It didn't exist. Wow, in my that's mind. interesting. That's so I go on the internet and something just came out, and I decided to go to LA. And before you knew it, I sold my car. I was in Mexico City, saving up. Yeah, 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 Mexico City, and I came out here. Didn't know anybody, but I knew on Monday at 9.30, I was starting technique class. Wow, yeah. you signed up? In Mexico. In, in Mexico, yeah. that's insane, yeah, that's I wild. Just came. I didn't even know that, I didn't know that story. Yeah, I, I don't, and you I don't tell it. Because of Selma? I it think. Like Selma was, a, you know, of course my classmate. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I think it was just the Stella Adler acting. It was, it was the acting part about it. I, I knew Salma, who Salma was, but right. it wasn't like I admired her or anything. I mean, she's a great woman. I, I, great, she's great so actress. powerful. And, yeah. and, and she is a great woman, actually. So, and a great woman. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but it, I think it was just the whole like website whole thing. thing about it. The yeah, whole yeah, thing yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and now it's just... It's all come, you know, it's all coming, it's happening, it's realizing, it's, it's great. I'm, I'm truly grateful. So the still other technique, which you learned here at the school, of course. Um, Did I? Is that what I learned? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it's now, but that's a good question because it really is, Stella was very clear, it should be the Patrick technique now if oh. you make it your own. But, <laughs> but, but originally when you were learning it, how do you use that now? Do you? I, I mean, it's, do, it's my base. Cool. It's, it's, it's really my base. It's impregnated in me. That's how I feel about it. It's, it's always evolving, you know, and I'm always working on my craft. Very cool. Um, and always trying to learn new things. And, but when I came here, it was, it was like a base was put. And it took years to do that, you know, but it's sort of like, okay, I can work from here yeah. and go from here. And it really, I see a lot of people and I see... I can't imagine what it'd be like not to have a technique, to see a character or a part and not to know how to go for it. Yes. Like I, I, I see a part and I look for ins, you know, what, what's the best in? And that was because of the great teachers here, you know, that, that are teaching right now. Yes. And also, you know, the foundation that Stella gave and these teachers breaking off of that and teaching us 
amazing things, and then I break off from that and create my craft. Well said. So and you'll teach it one day too, perhaps. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you never know what can happen with with time. Yeah. So, so I, you know, it's it's so so important to me, and it's crucial. You know. That's awesome. And and you do you think that. I, I ask this question a lot, uh, and I always try to word it correctly. Uh -huh. the, the technique applies to stage, if you want to call it stage work, and camera. It's the same thing. Yeah. Well, it's exactly the same thing. Yes. It's, it's maybe an adjustment that you do for here, for there, right. you know, with certain maybe technical things. Right. But other than that, it's the same truth you're looking for, right? You're, you're looking to represent a human being and tell a story. So, you know, whether I'm on a park bench or, you know, on set, or, in the theater, it's the same thing. Cool. And the approach is the same. That's great. For me. Cool. Yeah. Well, it's it's great to have you visit. And you come back a lot, of course, but... I'm always here. You're always here. I love it. I love it, Patrick. It's home. You know, what I love about this place, it's the lab. You know, you come, you succeed, you fail, you try new things, you, you, you mingle with other artists. It's a really beautiful thing.